Gemini. Welcome. We're going to do a general read for you. Looking at your current energy and situation. What your desire could be. Or maybe it's a deep down desire and you don't even know it yet. And then we're going to look at the outcome. What is working for you. What you need to be aware of. And then we will clarify all those cards. And once we've done that, we will pull three more cards around the reed just to make sure we have everything that you may need. All right, Gemini, let's get started. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's see what your current energy is. The Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. So the wheel talks about starting something new. This can also be something ending, something beginning, but it also can talk to the idea that forward momentum is starting. The magician is your energy and it comes in at the center of your read. This is in your desires. So maybe you're just wanting to be more like you. King of Wands shows up. Now the King of Wands shows up. And this is in... Sorry, I've got stuff falling. Ah! It shows up in the outcome. And this is an individual that can be very fiery-tempered, very good-looking. Um, we'll see what that king has to offer. We have the fool that shows up for you in what's working for you, and that's the leap of faith idea. And then we have the world card that shows up in what you need to be aware of. So let's go through, let's start to clarify. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Four of Wands, the Sun, and the Two of Pentacles is clarifying the wheel. So maybe things are starting to finally move in your current situation. Uh, that things are becoming more stable. That things are starting to really balance out. And it feels pretty darn good. The Magician... In the center of your read is your desire. And it's like what you're wanting is to manifest something out of the ordinary. Something that doesn't cause you a lot of grief. Uh, but also something that can really change things for you. Interesting. And then the... King of Wands. This is somebody that is very action-oriented. Let's do this. And with the clarity that the Queen of Swords brings around this, it seems like you're very keen to get a move on with a new start in regards to... Um, your finances with the Ace of Pentacles here. Now the Fool is what's working for you. And this is clarified by the Hermit, the Nine of Cups, and Justice. So maybe the things that you're taking action on, uh, you've thought about and you're like, just do it. You've taken that jump. And there's a lot of introspection into creating the success that you want. And you're looking at it in a very, very balanced way. And there's a lot of success here. This can also be success with some type of legal stuff. Now, the World card is clarified by the Five of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Emperor. So the World talks about everything that means something to you. This is success and achievement, and it's basically your world. But underneath that, it seems like 
there's a lot of overwhelming emotions. Um, it seems like something's just not quite finished because you're not at this emperor energy. This is the idea that, you know, you've, you've attained it all. But <clears throat> maybe you have. Maybe another way to look at this is that the world, what you need to be aware of, is the world that there's still things that you need to accomplish with respect to um, your growth and nurturing before this and to take action on before it can become fully the way you wish. The last three cards, we have the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. And this speaks towards a partnership where you actually look to a future with it. That it seems stable, it seems very connected and grounded, it doesn't have you off in sort of um, space thinking about what's going on. It's something that you can actually move and work towards. Gemini, that is what I have for you today. Hopefully this makes some sense to you. Best of luck this week. Uh, I invite you to subscribe if you have not done so already, and we will see you next time. Stay safe.